All right, how's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from my art studio to uh, create one more of my uh, awesome paintings. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be doing a landscape, a desert landscape actually. Uh, here in, in Arizona we have some of the most beautiful desert landscapes, of course, and I just uh, I'm render one, okay? Uh, let's see, you know what, I'm going to paint with, I'm going to paint with a palette knife, yeah, palette knife, let's see, this one, this one's probably nicer, yeah, did I, did I show the palette knife or not, yeah, there we go, all right, let's do the palette knife. This is a little 8x10, I mean 8x8, not 8x10, sorry about that, canvas board, 8x8 inches, okay, inches. And this is oil on canvas, why? This is how I roll, guys, it's how I roll, oil on canvas. <laughs> Every now and then I have my uh, mental fights with, with, uh, Still, right? Should I do uh, acrylic? Should I should I do oils? Should I blah blah blah? Every now and then I have those you know those things that happen to me and and uh, it's you know it's it's things that sometimes you can't really um, put much attention to. And the more you put attention, the, the, the worse it is. And what I mean is, for example, if you paint, if you paint, um, I don't know, with watercolor, and you see me painting this, right? And you're like, man, what am I doing? I should be painting oils. Uh, it might not serve you well. <laughs> it might serve you well to continue be, being a, uh, a watercolor painter and the reason why I'm saying it's because you've been based up so much on being a, a watercolor painter so every now and then I have those things those thoughts where I'm like oh man you know because I I, I, I don't want to um, maybe deal with the drying time of the oils or the, the smell you know around the studio and granted I don't really have that much that problem with the smell because I use a uh, I like to use al natural. I like to use walnut oil when I paint. So, so for those of you who are thinking, uh, what do I mix my my stuff with? Try walnut oil. I don't know. It might it might be for you. It might not be for you. Who knows? I cer I certainly don't like turpentine. I it's been years since I used any of that stuff. I don't like it. As a matter of fact, I detest it. <laughs> over the years you know I, I, I think that's why a lot of uh, well not a lot but, but the ones I know <laughs> uh, people that painted in oil and then jump to acrylic I think they tend to do it because of that and sometimes every now and then I'm that one uh, I'm that one artist who's like man maybe I should do um I should do acrylic. Maybe I should switch over to the acrylic side. And then I have to remind myself, no young Jedi, don't do that. You master at the oil. Don't go try to learn something new. <laughs> Every now and then you'll see me paint a different style, you know, with different mediums or whatever. But what I'm talking about is is my, my everyday, you know, my everyday game. And that's uh that's oil. So Sorry, oil, for trying to leave you again. I apologize. That's the same way as with my brushes, guys. Don't, don't overthink it, don't over analyze. It's very simple. 
really is just patches of color, like Monsieur Monet used to say. It's patches of color, that's all it is. And if you guys do it slower than me, that's awesome. If you do it faster, that's awesome. It doesn't really matter. You might psych yourself out here and there. You're like, man, I need to paint as fast as Jose. Again, it might not serve you well at all. You know, this is my jam, but 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 uh, it's not new. I've always I've always kind of just you know painted fast. But if your thing is, you know, you have to slow down, you have to do A, B, and C, or whatever, your preparation, then do that, too. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm coming from a place of do your thing. Because your thing is, 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 uh, it's tried and true. It's tried and true. It really is. And even if you're not very ahead in your in your um, painting career, there's something that you do that is unique. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. There is something that you do that is unique that people tell you and comment and, and that you've noticed. Maybe it's the way that you uh, play with certain colors. Maybe it's the way that you... Maybe it's the way that you see, maybe it's the way that you sketch, you know, there's, because I believe that every human being has their, their twist, right? Every, every, every artist, of course, has their, their, uh, it, we, we all have something to offer. That's what I'm trying to say. So looking at the neighbor to see what the neighbor is doing may not serve you well. And I understand that, you know, to, to, to learn and all of that, of course. But what I'm saying is like, oh, I'm going to do that. You know, not I'm going to learn from, from that is different, right? I'm going to learn from that or I'm going to apply some of that. That's different than going, oh, I'm going to do that because then you're losing the, the opportunity to, to, to develop your own, your own system, your own voice. See, it wasn't until I started thinking like that more that I started uh, really owning my my, uh, my 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 style, I guess, you know, the, the thing that I do, the reason why I, I get to do this for a full time for a living and, and, and people enjoy collecting my artwork. There, there's there's something that I do. It's not better or worse, but there's something that I do, and I do it often, that no one else can do. And sometimes you forget that. And sometimes you forget that you, you have that, that spark. Anyways, I'm making it long, right? I'm like, you have that spark. Follow your dreams. <laughs> but I'm being honest, you know. The, the, look, for, look for what makes you unique, and it, it won't take you long. Because it's 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 not uh, it, it might not even be the art. And I'm being honest. I'm being very honest here. It might not even be the art itself. It might be the way you connect with your with your um, with your collectors. That that might be this thing that separates you. That makes you very unique. It might not even be the art, and 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 that makes your art look wonderful. You know, believe it or not, I know that it sounds, it sounds like what, but I mean, how many artists do you see out there who are like, who are like, uh, I don't know, you, 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 you wouldn't do that artwork, you say, you know, you tell yourself, who buys that, you know, but there is something that they're doing, something very unique, that enough people want it, whether it's the way they are, the way they present the work. Something, something's happening that that we might be, you know, you might be missing when uh, when looking at the artwork. My thing is that I always knew that I knew how to capture. 
Well, this is one of the things. I know I have many, many, many awesome attributes. <laughs> but this is one of them. Ever since I was a kid, I always knew that I, that I was able to capture... Um, I was able to capture the this this the scene in an immediate almost in an in a um, with, with with a certain amount of realism and immediacy. And I was I wasn't ashamed of it until it became a thing that that I started thinking because of what I heard around me, right? Take more time doing them. You're doing them too fast. Imagine if you would take your time. Uh, they would come up even more beautiful. And I'm like, the thing that makes them beautiful is that I do them this fast. Come on. Like, don't, don't spoil my dreams. <laughs> and so for years, and you know, that's what I'm telling you. Every now and then, it still comes out. Every now and then, it still visits me. And I hate it when it does. But that shame still visits me. And I have to overcome it. And I have to tell myself, I have to remind myself, Jose, you're golden. Keep painting. You're golden. You will only get better if you keep moving. You cannot sit there and think about what you could do better. You just have to do. And this is the message for you guys. Don't allow your mind to tell you. Uh, and if you do allow it, uh, let it be just for a little bit. And grow, and grow out of it. Move out of it. Find, find a way to move out of it. But don't allow your mind. These are the words of Vincent Van Gogh. If your mind tells you, you can't do this. You can't paint. You're not an artist. You're not good enough. You need to do this in order to be better. He said, by all means, keep painting, right? Paint. And the mind will go away. The, the, the thought, right? The voice he was talking about. It wasn't something about schizophrenia, anything. He was talking about the, 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 the mental chatter, the ego, right? The mental chatter. Oh, the stuff that we do, we tell ourselves, you know, you're working and you're like, oh man, but if I painted a little bit more like Jose, you know, my, oh, my work would be so much greater. It's a lie, guys. Just keep painting. Learn what you can from me. Learn what you can from other people. And, and just keep painting. And you'll, you'll figure it out because that's, that's, the, that's the beauty. That there is no utopian place to get to. Once you get to that place, you're gonna to want to go to a higher place as an artist, and there's no utopian place. So if you're gonna play by those rules of if I could, then you will never be satisfied. Okay, so I'll leave you with that. Man, my stuff gets deeper and deeper and deeper. <laughs> the name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest fine art painter, living fine art artist. I mean that. I don't just say that. They're not just words. And the reason why is because I try very, very damn hard. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.